clip effects are applied on a clip by clip basis, and they're applied in real time using your CPU. They're applied on a clip by clip basis, which means you know it applies to the entire clip. And if you want to apply the effects just to a part of the clip, you have to separate that part from the rest of the clip. But let's say I wanted to apply some EQ processing just to this one clip. I could do that with Audio Suite, but I might want to make changes down the road. So I want it to be a real time effect that's applied just to this one clip. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is show the clip effects panel or view in the edit window. Right now it's not showing. And so like with most things that are available to be displayed or hidden in a window, you could get to it under the view menu. Under the view menu, if you go to other displays, you'll see a couple of things in here, uh, but here's clip effects right underneath that. And they both get displayed in the same place. So you can only display one or the other, either the universe or clip effects. But when you choose that, it displays the effects up above your tracks in the edit window. And essentially what you have here are EQ and dynamics effects that can be applied to any given clip. But it's worth pointing out that there's a keyboard shortcut for it. It's option six on the Mac, alt six on Windows. So that's the other way. You can turn it on and off anytime with that modifier. So option six turns it off, option six turns it back on. There's another way, if you don't wanna to go to the menus and you can't remember the, the keyboard shortcut, up above your tracks, above your rulers, there's this little arrow icon, this little down pointing arrow icon. And if you click on that, it'll expand out and show you either the clip effects view or the universe view, depending which one was last active. But there are little tabs up here that you can use to select between them. So this little one that looks like a mummy is your universe view and the one below it that looks like a, a caution cone or something that one is your clip effects view so if i were wanting to do some eq processing to this one particular clip when i display these parameters up at the top i can go in here and make whatever changes i want you know i could do this sort of graphically in the um the little eq graph here to sort of get the get the effect that I wanted for that particular clip. So you get the idea. Now I've applied some EQ to this one clip and that is not applied to this other clip. I select the other one, you can see it doesn't have EQ on it. And what you'll see is when you've applied clip effects to a given clip, in the upper corner of the clip, it'll show a little indicator. So this one shows that it has EQ processing on it. It's processing in real time so it's going to take a little bit of a hit on your on your cpu not a ton but again if you do it on lots of clips across lots of tracks it adds up so be aware of that whatever you do in in real time processing here is hitting your cpu now if you want to compare what does it sound like with the eq versus what does it sound like without it here <laughs> That's with the EQ. If I wanted to bypass the EQ, I could go here and turn it off with the little power button. That's what it sounds like without it. Not a huge change, but you get the idea. With your EQ, you can kind of see there's four bands within here that you can work with, but then you have these two filters for high pass and low pass. What you have to be aware of is that each of them are turned on and off with their number. You have to click on the number to turn on your high pass filter and then click on the number two to turn on uh, your low pass filter. And once they're on, you'll get these little, you know, uh, dots in the corners where you can drag those, drag those in to apply them. So next to your EQ function is your dynamics function. And here, there's an expander gate. There's a compressor limiter. You can set, you know, your thresholds and your ratios and things like that in here. And um, once you do, once you've made something that actually applies something, then on the clip where it's applied, you'll see a DYN indicator. So those little, you know, those little uh, badges that appear on your clips can tell you what's going on with your clip effects. And same thing applies over here. You can turn it on and off with the power button. Anyway, that's your clip effects.